What's up, Out the Mud? Come with me, Enrico Black, as we go check on the buckets that we planted potatoes in back in April. It is the end of July, so we should have something in there. What? I have no idea. So we're going to go uh, check things out. The I did three different varieties, and there's about seven buckets. And that middle, those, those red plants you see in the middle there, those are actually radish uh, microgreens, believe it or not. Um, that just kind of took off. They were in the soil and I've got sweet potatoes planted in there with them. So I just kind of let them shoot up. Anyway, here's our first, first bucket of potatoes. I'm just shaking the dirt away just to see what's what, to see what kind of yield we were able to get. And there I see some potatoes and there was a nice size one. And I was like, oh my gosh, I got a potato. I can't believe it. And this was just from a bucket. So, you know, who, who knows how much I could have grown had I done more buckets. But potatoes are one of those things that are a staple for um, every pantry. So if you don't have any space at all, you got space for a bucket. So definitely consider growing some potatoes on your patio in a bucket and or wherever you can. Just need some sun and some water and that's about it. But I want to show you guys this path. You remember that other video where you could definitely see a clean cut road um, once Hank came and, and did his thing with the tractor, as you can see, you know, Tennessee rains have turned that back into an overgrown path that is very snake friendly right about there is where we saw the black racer the other day and cut our walks back there short because that's their, that's their domain. I respect it. And here's the building that I'm going to be doing my herbs in. I'm going to go ahead and, and get that back into greenhouse mode. And that side yard that I just showed you was where I did my hay bale gardening a few years back. Now, this building here is what I'm using to actually just store my rabbit fertilizer. Um, I have been selling rabbit fer fertilizer for the last few years. It was my very first cash crop. We sold it at the farmer's market. I sold it at the local co-op. But now I'm kind of like hoarding it because as I get into vegetable production, I need fertilizer for myself. So I'm very, I hold on to it. I'm not really selling it. You know, some past clients have reached out to me. I make sure they have it. But yeah, so that's that. But here are some more potatoes that I'm just, they were hard to harvest, but granted I'm using one hand. But as you can see, I've got, you know, a few out of that bucket. And you'll see here the ultimate yield from all of the buckets. I mean, I don't, I don't know what I was doing. Let's just put it out there, okay? I didn't know how to best deal with the potatoes. I just threw them in a bucket, threw some fertilizer on them, made sure that they had water and sun, and that's basically it. Um, I didn't take into consideration how many slips I was putting in um, or anything like that. I just kind of just put them in there. And so here are the end results of that effort, which is basically... The, um, actually, let me just show you these buckets real quick. There are seven buckets. And then there was one little bitty bucket that I had that, um, actually ended up like a normal house size planter that I planted a couple of slips in. And that actually gave me two potatoes, but here's the end result of everything just so you can see. And yeah, I'm going to cook those. I'm going to make mashed potatoes. And those are the onions that ended up coming out of that onion bucket. And that's about it. So I'll talk to you later. I'll let you know how the mashed potatoes come out. Peace.